So fall is in the air. We're gonna do a fall reset, but we wanna kind of focus on the front of this shop area. We've had it looking about like this for a long time. Some stuff sold, we've got some holes. We've got nails in the wall that don't fit with stuff that we can put there. So we really need to change it up. We're gonna try something. I've got Old Faithful here. This drill is probably 20 years old. Need to redo the plug. It's gonna work for today. You know, probably shouldn't be using it, but I am. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this display apart, try it in the front entry. So I've always filmed me while I'm getting going and it makes me nervous. So I can't commit that this is what this is gonna stay like. I'm just gonna arrange it and work it until I feel like the look is what I want. Okay, change number 37 today. <laughs> Shelves are gone. And we've stacked them over here but we got to flip them because that side that was on the inside was not painted when it was screwed together. I got these really pretty garlands in and I'm always at a loss as like how to display garlands best. So I'm just gonna stack them all together here. I think they'll sell well like that. I could also put them here. I think they get lost, so. We'll see how it ends up. We'll at the end of the video, we'll see what it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is about yellow underneath corbels. Maybe we need to try, ooh, maybe we need to start trying that. Right, it looks good. I like that we added this. Yeah, I think this I like that. This piece here is good, because the crustiness on this piece kind of plays off the crustiness of the corbels. So it's a good Well, piece. it really just fills in that whole wall instead of it looking kind of bare with the few frames hanging up. Yeah, it looks a little bit more intentional. I've got this odd little space here where this actually used to be between this and the floor. Yeah. But my um, single, whatever they, what are they, brick molds? Yeah, the brick Look, molds. they fit perfectly. So I thought maybe we'd display them here. What do you think? No, I think that works. All right, let's see how many we can fit on here. When you are dealing with old junk, it's always a struggle to try to figure out how to put things together. So I always like to look at the size of things and then I just envision, okay, what do I have that's that size? And we've got this strange little hole here but I've got these pocket knives so that kind of fits perfect there. And then we've got our, these are our sugar molds here. And then we've got room for this down here. And I think I'm just gonna use this for enamel. I don't love this basket necessarily here, but I don't think it's bad. Maybe if you flip these around the right way, you can see what they are. The stack. It's all about the layering. It's all and about the layering and trying not to hit myself. I don't know what's in there. It's not long. Let's stick in there. All right. Oh no, there's something springy on the bottom. I think it's the tag. It's just pushing it up. Oh. There you go. There's another tag. There's something in there that. 
the mystery is solved. But now they're all. Now they don't look cute. I'm walking away. Oh, there we go. I got it. All right, we've made it into the clothing room. It's the next day. We didn't. We didn't get this far. Yeah, uh, we had a bunch of stuff that happened yesterday and had to get it all taken care of. I'm trying to. So, are these something that new that just came in or reorder? What are you doing with these? Well, so the display that they were in sold. <laughs> so I, <laughs> I have to find a new place to put all these belts. They're super cute. They're embroidered and leather, and they're only fourteen ninety five, which is a total steal. So. I don't know if that's gonna fit in there. Like I know. That. Like I just have one too many. <laughs> you know what? How about this. I just don't love the rubber band on them. But if you take the rubber band off, they're gonna. I know. Unfold, unroll. There you go. There we go. You know, the second I do this, and somebody's gonna buy these. But I mean, such is life. That's alright. That's why they're for sale. Yeah, we like to sell stuff. Da -da -dun! Flannel's finally making it into the shop that we just saw us do last week. I've got to get them onto the right hangers and get them tacked. All right, so these felt hangers are the ones that we use at home. Jamie likes to keep everything all matching between home and the store. You can see that we've kind of got them color coordinated. Uh, small, medium, we've got a small that's breaking rank over here. And every now and then we'll come in here and we'll organize the small by color and the medium by color. I don't know that we're going to get that far today. It's like oddly satisfying to put tags on clothes. <laughs> <laughs> so we know the bleached outlook isn't going to be for everyone, right? But when we were down in Vegas at that... I don't know, what is a fashion show? What was that thing? Magic Apparel. We bought some, what are they called? Flackets? Yeah. Flannel jackets, they're coming. Like it's it's a thing, it's been out for a while now and you're gonna start seeing it all over. I wouldn't be surprised if everyone jumps on board and it's out there in force. So like it or not, you will most likely start seeing it all oh, over the place. Oh, out of tags. The thing is that sometimes people are like, oh, I don't like it, I don't like it. And then they start seeing people wear it. Like, look, today I'm wearing my flannel. Maybe you don't like it. Maybe, you know, you see it on something, you're like, oh, that's really cute. It's, sometimes it takes getting used to. Just throw it out there. We're redressing this mannequin here with a Goodwitch shirt. We actually had this last season and we have a couple three X's and then we've got our flannel. Put my phone down here on the back. I kind of wish, like, should I just display it like this so people can see it? Maybe I'll leave it like that, but it's really cool. I like the way it turned out. All right, so I've left me in here for a minute by myself. I've decided that I'm going to put all the bleach stuff together. So it's mostly all mediums anyways, because that's what I found. But if we get more, then we can put them on this display and it's kind of grouped. And I like that. Um, we do normally have plus size here and there, but we don't have a ton of plus size in right now, or at least not on this display. A lot of it's in the basement. So I was able to consolidate that over there. And then we've got this fun little fall clothing area here. We've got these fun new bracelets in. I'm actually wearing one of the wraps here. And we've got these burlap sack bag things that I think make a great bracelet display. So if you guys sell them, you can kind of just take this idea. It's got a zigzag. It was like cotton, but it's a really good way to display bracelets. I might make a few more for some other bracelets that I have. Okay, so we switched things up here. It's not my favorite. Like I had dreams of Joanna Gaines displays like at Magnolia, but I think it's really charming. And there's a bunch of fun new stuff. We just got these butter spreaders in. They're really kind of homey for fall. A Aren't lot they of, handmade by a 90 year old guy? They are, they're handmade by Boyd. Also these bowls are handmade by Bo Boyd. Aren't they cute? And they even have like on the back, look at his signature. Nice. Yeah, so I put these up here. We've got our pumpkin display. Got a string on that one. These are $9.95 and they're so cute. And you can make these, but they're kind of a pain in the butt. And I got 24 of them that I didn't have to make. So I'm happy about that. These magnolias are relatively new. These have been really good sellers for us. So I like those up here. And I love displays where it looks like, this is what Debbie would call a candy store. It's like lots of all the good stuff because people will come in here and it like encourages them to buy. So 
that's always fun. Again, not my like final decision on displays, but we did get these new um, recipe book holders. But they actually are really good for iPads too. And we've already sold two of them. They've got little like stands in the back. And I just like to put them all together. The other thing that's great about grouping items together is if you're like us and you have a website, you don't have to be looking all over, you've got things grouped. So I know that all of the recipe book holders are here. So if people buy them online, I can just grab them and go. Didn't reorganize a whole lot here, but I did move all of our new kind of fall holiday type towels here. Um, this isn't really fall, but the colors are. Crow is perfect for fall. And then this wreath is leading into the winter season. Again, because we've got kitchen stuff, we've got these fun hand done mango spoons over here. So people kind of gravitate towards these types of items and having them together. Same thing with our grain sack hot pads. I like to keep them with the towels because when people are thinking like gift baskets or like for a wedding, a lot of times people come in here for that. They can grab two or three items, throw them together and they're good to go. So this area, I actually really love it so much better than what was here before. It's nice and tall, and so when people walk through the front door, it draws their eye across the room and makes them want to come shop. Again, we've grouped like items together. So we've got our new four foot um, fall boxwood garlands all together here. So if we do sell some online, it's easy to pick them up and ship them. And then we've got a lot of enamel here. I think this is most of the enamel that we carry on the website, easy together. Some more groupings. I showed you that we put our, um, what are these? Cement molds or some brick, brick molds. molds. <laughs> I, don't, I sell them, but I don't know what they are. Brick molds all together. And then we've grouped them down with our windows without glass and our cheese boards, some more enamel cutting boards. So a great little wood area. Love, love, love that these corbels are back in stock. They've been out forever and my vendor has raised the price. So I don't know if I'm gonna carry them once you sell. Oh, somebody shopped online. Um, but I've got them together. Even though they're not all grouped together, you can see them and we've got a couple on the floor and a couple up here, they look pretty good. Because we are a vintage shop, I like to bring in thrifted items. I thrifted this pewter floral arrangement a little bit ago and now it's the perfect time to bring it out. So don't be afraid to shop ahead for holidays. I just kind of like to keep things in the back room and when the holiday comes around, then I can bring it out and I'm ready to go. Like I already have a bunch of bins of vintage Christmas just waiting for the right time. Hope you guys like this shop video. Rosie commented the other day that she was dying for another one. So we decided, hey, we got work to do. Let's make a video. This video is for you, Rosie. <laughs> if you guys want to shop along with the items that you saw here today, be sure to visit jamierayvintage.com. You can get all the paint and products, home decor, and vintage items there. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY and junk. <laughs>